Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video for you on enhancing mist in your coastal photography. You've got a, a coastline where there's some rugged landscape and there are pockets of land where you know mist can collect or the sea is just throwing up a lot of spray. You've got that ambiance there. How to bring that out. And uh, you know these are uh, techniques that I talk about in Mastering Light and Shadow in Lightroom, a new video course that just launched earlier this week. But I wanna focus on this mist, like these ribbons of, of mist and fog that are rolling down through the trees here and mixing up with uh, with what the ocean is throwing up here. Uh, I have a lot of different uh, localized adjustments I've done here, but I want to focus on this one, the mist, for this video. And let me turn that off for a second and then back on. You can see that just gives the land much more dimension. This becomes much more of a three-dimensional photo just purely by enhancing the mist. And how did I go about that? Well, I used Lightroom's masking tools. First said, you know, hey, give me the mountains, right? We've got these AI-powered masks in Lightroom. And, you know, one of them is landscape, and it will analyze the photos. And great, I found the mountains. Said, all right, well, that's cool, but I need to get rid of that stuff that's down at the bottom there. And so you can see this is a brush stroke of me erasing all of the things that were on the bottom that were not mountains. Then intersecting with a luminance range. So I'll hit that luminance range for a moment so you can see the range that I selected. See, so I'm looking to get the mist, right? I want just the mist. And so we're getting closer, right? I've got these three things put together and then finally a little brush strokes to get rid of the stuff along the ridge line. Now when you're looking at these individual masks, you have to remember I'm just looking at the individual pieces, mountains, then the brushwork to remove stuff, luminance range. This is just this luminance across the whole photo. Then I'm erasing stuff on the ridge line. But when you add it all up, you get this mask. Very precise, very targeted, courtesy of combining some of these very powerful masking tools in a relatively straightforward and easy way. And then finally just doing the adjustments here. And this is a simple tone adjustment, just Give me a little more exposure, increase the whites so I get that pop on the mist before and after. So the adjustments themselves, very straightforward. You're going to increase exposure of the mist or brighten the mist, do a dodge. But how you select that mist, you can combine these landscape AI based tools with brushes luminance ranges intersect all of those to get a very precise mask. Hope you found the video useful. Questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.